Hey guys, here I am again, and I just wanted to show you um, the package I received from PSP Ruby, um, a trade or a swap, um, I don't know, anyways, but before going into that, I totally forgot to show you guys this. This was sent to me by Rosa and Adriana. Um, this is an eraser, and it is beautiful. I love it. I love erasers. And the thing is, um, today, uh, home is, I think it was All Things Pretty received hers. She made a video of hers. And you know what? If you take this out, let me see if I could do it with one hand. Take this, these little, they're like little ears here. If you take this out, it's actually a stamp. And this one is like a burst, like those things that it's like a thing that goes pssst, like that. Yeah. And it's really cute. I really like it. Um, I found out about this because I, I saw these things and I started like turning it. And I said, oh, wait, looks like something's down there. And I saw it. So check yours out to see what you got. <laughs> so anyways, um, okay, now I can't get this thing back with one hand only. Let me see. So anyways, thank you, Rosa and Adriana. I love it. Thank you so much. Okay, so... I made a, a, a trade with um, with Hazel from uh, SPS Ruby, okay, and um, she sent me a whole bunch of cute things. We, we actually traded. I asked for these things. She sent me out a lot of um, ribbons, and these one, ugh, there I go again, putting my hands somewhere where, okay, where am I? Here I go. Um, and these are actually beautiful. I, I use these ribbon also to make the baby um, shoes. And they're, thank you so much, really. Thank you a lot. She sent me a whole bunch of these little ribbon things, which I, I don't, I, I've been buying some. And these big ones are also cute. I've got a whole bunch of them. Let's get them all out here with that. She sent me all these. Whoops, one is gonna fall. And this one is actually so beautiful. Where, where am I? Okay, here I am. This one is really beautiful. I love it. And these trims are absolutely beautiful. I haven't gotten them off out of the package yet because I received this package the other day. And um, these are like little hearts. What is it? Wait a minute. It's like a trim of, here I go, of little hearts. You guys have to forgive me. I'm still... Um, filming with my iPad, my new iPad, and I don't know how to use this, actually, and she sent me these beautiful, um, they're like butterflies, and it's weird, because she tells me that she bought these here in Puerto Rico, and I had not seen them, yeah, she had, she bit, she was down here some, a while ago, and these also, look how beautiful, these beautiful butterflies, and I love them, and I had not seen them here, honestly, I had not seen them, so she sent me all those little trims and ribbon, which I absolutely adore, and she also sent me some, um, some pachons, look at this one, this one is really cute, I really like it, I'm dying to use them, this one I also, wear. okay, here I go, sent me this one also, and they're all new, they're in their package, and she sent me this one for the corners, which I like it, and this big one, also, and she sent me these stamps, also got beautiful Christmas stamps I really like them a lot to make some little Christmas cards sent me that and she also sent me look at this guys look at all these bunch of needles knitting needles oh I gotta start knitting again I love to knit crochet and all those things and one of these guys lost their little button but I found it I just now found it when I emptied the box so thank you so much, um, Hazel. I really loved everything, and I'm really glad that you loved everything I sent you. So I'll see you guys. Oh, I do want to ask a question. Um, I do have, I want you guys to know, I don't know if I said it on my previous video, I have my ATC cards here all packed up. They're in these little envelopes that um, Kat sent me in her with her cards. Of the envelopes that she did I saved one there's these are uh, uh, from paper but she sent me one that was like a little, a little bit harder a cardstock and I, 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 I stayed with that one so I could make um, a template out of them and I have them all here all six of them 
and I will be sending them out randomly. I don't know who's going to get what because um, Kat did that, and it was awesome because it was a surprise for all of us. So um, I had shown some of the ones I had done, but I didn't show all of them. I didn't do a video of all the ones I had done. So some of them are going to be a surprise. Actually, they're all going to be a surprise because I don't know who's going to get which one. And um, you guys aren't going to know either until you receive it. So anyways, um, I should be shipping them out tomorrow because today the post office is closed. We're celebrating Veterans Day today. So, um, And, of course, my birthday. So anyway, guys, um, I'll send them out tomorrow, hopefully. So take care, guys. God bless you. Oh, and I did have a question for all you guys out there that use the Big Shot machine. Um, die, for the die cuts, okay, it comes with these acrylics, but as you use them, you can see that the acrylic, um, the, the, the knives of the die cuts, um, they, they go through all the way the paper and the foaming and everything, and they mark your acrylic pads, these are the ones that come in the package, and, um, I was told that that is normal, that is going to happen, but my question is, because when I cut something, when I put something in to cut it, this impression comes out on the, on the die cut that I cut. I don't know if I'm explaining. What can I do so that that does not happen, okay? Because when I put the die cut, for example, let me just move over here. Let's make believe this is my my die cut I put it right I put my paper on top and I sandwich it between these two between these two acrylics right that's what we do I sandwich it but what happens when I pass this where am I here I go when I pass this through my machine through my big shot when I pass it through this impression what's on here this impression comes out on my paper and I don't know how to avoid that um, I was thinking of putting um, like some something here between the, the acrylic pad the block and my paper like another piece of paper or something so um, my paper won't receive this impression but it makes it a little bit harder to pass it through the, the machine. I don't know if I'm going to break it or I don't know. Just guys, whoever has a die cut machine and, and is going through that, please let me know. Because um, it sometimes it ruins my... I, I made some flowers the other day and the flower came out with this impression on it. And I don't like it. I didn't like the way it came out. So let me know, guys. God bless you and take care. And thank you, Hazel, again. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Love you guys. Bye-bye.